How you guys doing? Good. Russell, was there ever a point in this process where you, you, you let it get personal or felt, oh boy, they don't love me? Did you ever get that? Uh, I don't think that it was, it was personal. I know it was business, you know. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be a Seahawk. You know, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, it's a blessing to be here on a championship type team. And, uh, you know, the goals are win the Super Bowl this year. So Super Bowl 50 is on our mind. So, um, you know, no matter what, I was going to be focused on the season. You know, I was going to be ready to play uh, no matter what the circumstances were. And, and uh, unfortunately enough, um, Mark and I, we, we tried to set a date just right before, just because I wanted to be able to just leave it all behind and just, no matter what, focus on the season. So, uh, you know, around 11 o'clock last night, uh, I guess we got to figure it out. So it was pretty cool. Could you describe what was going through your mind and your emotions and thought process as you kind of got through the home stretch of the deal there? Um, you know, my, my focus the whole time has pretty much been on getting getting ready for the season. You know, I've, I've uh, been excited about that, just to be able to play football again. Ultimately, you know, no matter – you know how much you know I make. You know, no matter down the road or in the past or whatever, it's it's always always been about the game. You know, and trying to get ready. It is business. It is my job. You know, so and all that matters. But at the end of the day, you know, you just want to get ready for the season. So I was excited about it. You know, and, and um, I, I I'm a, I'm always an optimist. You know, I'm the ultimate one. Um, I was always believing that it'd work out, and I always believe, you know, that I wanted to play here. You know, obviously. So uh, it was exciting. Was it a tough couple nights? Uh, not really. It actually got kind of easier the closer it got, you know, I think, more than anything. I, I've, I've had great people around me just to keep me, the, the support, you know, the people that just continue to, continually believing in me. And, and so just getting ready for the season, like I said, I was, I've been in, down in San Diego mostly, you know, training down there. And and, uh, and so just my mind was pretty clear, you know, for the most part. Uh, there, were some, there were some tough days every once in a while trying to figure out, okay, you know, am I supposed to be here? You know, you, you, I think you guys kind of know my faith type thing. It's like, okay, am I supposed to be here or not, you know? What's the deal? And, and um, just trusting that the process is going to work out, you know, respecting the process of it all. What was important to you in a deal? I mean, you obviously hire an agent for, the, for a reason, but I'm sure you were kind of in on the details too. What was important to you to have in the contract? Um, you know, well, you know, I, I don't want to get too much into the details, you know, honestly. I, I think that, you know, that's not really for me to talk about. But, you know, in terms of, you know, being here, that was the most important thing. You know, I, I wanted to be here, you know. I, I, I was, uh, you know, I was excited to, to hopefully sign, you know, and around 11 o'clock when I get a call from, you know, Mark Rogers, he tells me, uh, hey, I'm walking out the door, you know, we just, we just figured it out. Uh, you know, I had a huge smile on my face. Does it change your role or the dynamics of the team at all? In terms of now having a contract and being the highest paid player and what that means in a salary cap league? I, I don't think it changed the role at all. I mean, I... Uh, you know, ultimately, it's about, you know, trying to lead as much as I can and, and trying to serve others, you know, and, and help others, you know. So, uh, you know, for, for three years, we've, we've been pretty successful. You know, we found ways to play at a high, high level. And uh, nothing changes. You know, the, the, the mindset doesn't change for me or any other guy on this football team. We've got a lot of great football players, and, and um, it'll be exciting to see, you know, this season, to get out and to come out here for the first time, a perfect day, to see all the fans. That's what the game's about. And, um, you know, you know, obviously, in terms of the salary cap, we want to keep as many guys as we possibly can, and that, that's. You know, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff, but you know, I, I know John's going to do a great job with that, and, and you know, so I'm grateful. You mentioned the salary cap; you can't keep everybody, but the guys that are now locked up, including yourself, all the guys on defense, you know, Marshall Lynch for Beer, Doug Baldwin. What does that mean to have kind of that core group? Uh, we have so many talented players, uh, from Doug to Curse on offense. You know, we just got Jimmy. You know, all those guys. You know. Luke is young still and athletic as can be. You got Marshawn Lynch, guy that we, you know, have locked up now. And and, and then in terms of the other side of the ball, you know, you, you have so many guys that are so talented, the best in the league, you know, in terms of that. So, um, you know, ho you know, hopefully, you know, uh, obviously a guy in my class is really, really talented in Bobby. I know people have been talking about him, and uh, we we want to work that out somehow. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm I'm prayerful that works out. But Bobby's, uh, you know, in my opinion, the best linebacker in the league. You know, he, he can really do it well. It's not just Bobby. There's, there are guys that are unhappy. Michael Cam's not here. I mean, how do you view all that? It's a trickle down effect from your big contract now. Uh, you know, it's, it's all business. I, you know, it's, it's, it's one, one of the parts of the game. You know, it's not just, just th this circumstance here. You know, it's everywhere. You know, and, and so, um, you know, I've been talking to Cam. He, he, he wants to be out here, and he, he's a guy that's so determined, a guy that I, I respect the world out of. You know, and a guy that gives his heart and soul every day. And every guy on this team knows that. So. Um, you know, guys like Michael Bennett, too, as well, and, and other guys, you know, they, they play so hard every play, you know. So 
you know, I respect I respect the process of it all, and I understand you know what they're going through in the sense of you know their decision or whatever. So you, you got to just respect that and let them you know uh, do what they feel like is, is necessary. Talk to you about the extra challenges or responsibilities that kind of come with this kind of contract. What do you see as being some maybe the obstacles or things you'll have to deal with? That maybe you think uh, I, I don't think anything. Uh, Coach Carroll and I talked for a while about that, just for I don't know, 15 minutes. But um, you know, I, I don't think too much changes. Honestly, I, I think honestly, it's just continue to find ways to push and lead, and and uh, continue to to listen to you know, and, and continue to try to learn as much as I can. Um, so you know, I, I, like Tater and I always say, you know, keep taking notes, you know, and, and just lead by example. You know, ultimately, you know, that's what's gotten me here is, is the hard work, you know, and, and, and I've been very blessed. You know, my parents, you know, in terms of the discipline they gave me when I was a young kid, you know, nothing changes in that aspect, you know, and, and we have so many guys that are, are, are pretty much every guy on this team, you know, honestly, is, is the same way, you know, and so uh, that's the fun part about being on this team, this organization. There's so many great people, so many great players and, and guys that love to play football, you know, and so to be on this team, and, you know, like I said, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So you Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. And, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, when you're dealing with all this, you know, uh, it's 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 always a tough thing to deal with because you, you know, you, you don't want to, um, you don't want to get knocked down for stuff, you know, and people say greedy or whatever. Right? And that that doesn't cross my mind, you know. I, I just love the game of football, and I've played it ever since I was a little kid. You know, you when you're a little kid, when you're four, five, six, seven years old, and I pick up my dad's first football and throw it around. You know, my 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 in my head, I'm seeing I want to I want to be, I wanna be an, an NFL quarterback for a very long time, and so there's there's things that come with that. There's blessings that come with that, and so that's you know. But uh, you know, ultimately, I, I I was just happy to be here. You know, when I was picked the 75th pick overall, you know, I, I still had the same mindset I I have today. You know, and that's just about winning games, going one and every week, and so. In terms of Mark Rogers, he's the best guy I know, honestly. Uh, other than my dad, you know, he's he's uh, a guy that, that cares for me, a guy that's always going to have my back, you know. And and, and so, uh, you know, I, I couldn't have anybody better, honestly, you know. Um, and, I, and I mean that, you know. And so you, you can't, you got to ignore the noise, like I always say, you know. And, and you just you just don't pay attention to it as much as you can, you know. Uh, you know, everywhere you walk, people are. are uh, it's been fun though. It's been exciting. Everybody, every, kind of everywhere you walk through the process, though. You know, in Seattle or if I'm in California, wherever, people are like, "Oh man, go, go, go Hawks! We gotta sign that thing." You know, so you, so you, you, you as much you try to leave, let it leave your mind. Even when you go somewhere, people are like, "Oh man, what's going on?" You know, so it, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing to be in this situation. Um, you know, it's like I, I always say to you guys: to be uh, one of 32 men in the world that, that get to be a starting quarterback in the National Football League. You know, really, you know, I can't complain too much. And to be the starting quarterback for the CLC Hawks, it's a, it's a true honor. It's a blessing. You know, it's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of great plays that guys have made for me, and, and guys have stepped up, and Marshawn, and the receivers, and, and Doug, and Curse, and so many other guys in the defense. And so it's not just all me. And I'd, I'd be the first one to say it's not just all me. You know, and, and so I'm grateful. You know, I'm, I'm really, really grateful just for the, for the guys that put in the hard work, uh, not just for me, but for everybody on the team. You know, and, and so it's, it's been a, it's been a fun joy ride. And the thing is, that the train doesn't stop now. You know, there's a lot more to do, and there's another season. There's, you know, and that would never change. You know, that that's always going to be the new thing, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what the, no matter what's going on. Um, you you have to to have a true champion's mindset. You gotta, you know, you gotta be able to move on. You gotta be able to focus on the next opportunity. You gotta be able to to zone in and, and lock in. You know, no matter what the circumstances are going around you. And so, um, and that's the type of team we have. For me, I, I always believed it. <laughs> you know, I, I've always, I've always believed in uh, being where I am today. You know, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's something that I've always visualized. My dad used to always talk to me about it. You know, my dad used to always talk about Michael Jordan and you know Allen Iverson back in because Allen Iverson from Virginia. You know, and just guys saying that they used to visualize uh, the shot going in or success or whatever. And, and guys like Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, those type of people. They've always talked about it, you know, and and so, uh, you know, I, I just had to kind of let go and, and kind of just trust that you know, it was all going to be handled the right way, you know, and, and it was, and it's been a, it's been a fun fun thing for me, um, and so, you know, I, the best part of it all is I got to play football today, you know, for for five six months, you know, I've been w waiting to get back on the field again, especially after that last play. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's one of those things you get back get, get to get back out here and and. Uh, 
you know, see the vision again, you know, get, continue to see the vision, continue to focus on, like I always say, have the championship mindset. So uh, things are going to kind of stay the same in terms of my wording and that, the viewpoint, you know, it doesn't really change. So how many points a game? Hmm? What were you doing when Mark called you last night? Uh, what was I doing when Mark called me last night? I was sitting in bed and uh, it was around 11 o'clock and I was actually talking to Sierra on the phone. And, uh, and Mark, Mark called me. It was out, we had curfew at 10.30, so I was laying in bed. And I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting next hour, <laughs> you know. And uh, anyway, so Mark calls me, you know, at 11. I answered the phone. And, you know, he told me it worked out. So it was, one of the, it was one of the coolest days of my life. And then being able to call, being able to call my mom, you know, even though she's on the East Coast, she answered the phone. She was knocked out of sleep, but she answered. Um, and so that, that was pretty cool. Is that the point where you felt confident that it was all going to get done, or was there any point leading up to that last night where you thought you, you, it was truly going to so happen? Say that one more time. Was that the point where you knew it was going to get done, or did you think leading up to that point that you were pretty confident it was going to happen? Um, I've always been confident it was going to happen. I, I never really doubted it was going to happen. I, I, you know, you kind of wonder if it's not, okay, what's the process? You know, I, I had to figure everything out, you know, and, uh, you know, to get technical to front, from the, you know, from the insurance policy to the this and that, I was just had to, you know, one of the things that I think Mark and I do really well is just, just make sure everything's in order just in case, you know, and just, so I had to do that, you know, that was one of the things that, you know, it was just the reality of the situation, you know, and, and uh, even though I didn't want that to happen, you know, you know it could be an option, you know, so, um, but I, in my mind, I, I still believed it was going to happen the right way, you know, like I always say, I, I'm, a, I'm a believer in the, the, being optimistic and, and believing in that it's going to work out, um, you know, just like the, I always believe in the NFC Championship game against the Packers, you know, I believe that that was going to work out, even though it doesn't look like it may not, um, you know, I, I believe it was going to. When you look at Brady, Manning, Rodgers, you know, Flacco, the other guys who have contracts like this, they compile their stats and you, know, you do it a different way. As a pure passer, where do you think you are in your development curve versus where you I don't think that's for me to judge. I, I think that's for me to continue to work on. You know, I just, um, you know, I... I'm fortunate enough to have a great back and hand the ball off to him and, and have some fun with him back in the backfield. And then uh, to have a lot of great receivers and have, you know, some young tight ends that have been unbelievable so far for us. And then to add Jimmy Graham. Uh, so, you know, the, the for me, when I came to the league, the goal from, I never forget, I, I was on a plane. I was flying from, where was I flying from? I was actually, I was actually flying from Denver. And I wasn't, I wasn't baseball related. I was flying from, because the Denver, the Denver Broncos brought me out there. It was the last visit I had, and I and I went from Denver back to Richmond, Virginia, where I lived, and uh, I remember on the on the plane drawing all my goals out. You know, I, I I drew my everyday goals, you know, professionally and all that, and I also drew I also drew up my, uh, my I, I called it legendary goals, like down the road, what do I want my, what what do I want my life to look like, what do I want things to look like, you know, and uh, that was from life and also pl playing football, and in terms of football, you know. I, my 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 goal was to treat every day as a new day. Treat every day as if I've never learned the play before, and um, and, and have a constant progression. You know, I, I don't expect to have it all all at once. You know, and I don't. You know, I, I, that's the part of the process that makes it fun. The Blue Angels are flying above us, but that's the process to make it fun. It's continuing to grow. And, and you know, if we if we need to throw the ball 50 times a game, I'll be ready. You know, and, and that's just one of the things that you know I believe. You know, I I believe I can throw the ball extremely well and make the plays and, and to have a guy. Like, like Jimmy Grant, who just added on to our team, and then the rest of the guys that we have too as well, it makes it exciting. It makes our offense really, really hard to stop, and, uh, and it's already been hard enough to stop. But I think it's going to be pretty cool to watch. So, so how many points a game do you think Jimmy Graham can add to this team's scoring average? I don't know. We'll have to find out come season. Uh, Pete said we asked him about uh, you being competitive with your contract, pushing everything right up to the limit. He said you were competitive. Is it important for you to be competitive with your riders camp at all in the financial? I, I didn't hear what Coach said exactly. I, I, from from my understanding, probably, probably he, I'm sure he didn't mean competitive in terms of my contract. I'm sure he just meant like just competitive, just in general. You know that Are I. You yeah, in that? yeah, I'm very competitive in, in my uh, in terms of my just my how I go out here and practice in the field. Is that what you mean? But I mean, uh, is it important? Oh, you know, I, you know, for me, I, I just want to be. You know, paid based on what I'm worth. You know, what I've, what I've produced, whatever that means. You know, so for me, uh, I just let the place speak for itself. You know, I, that's not my job to kind of do all that. You know, that's why I hire Mark Rogers, and that's why I, I trust him to figure everything out for me and to work everything out. And sure enough, it did, and I get to play here for another four more years. I, it couldn't be much better. You mentioned constantly facing the questions about your contract wherever you went. Who would you say was the most notable or prominent person that asked you about it? Ah, oh, man, that's a good question. Uh, um, 
you know, I, I talked to guys like Derek Jeter for a little bit about it. Um, I, I mean, he's pretty. <laughs> I guess he's the pilot. You know, uh, you know, I, I think. Uh, I, I think President Obama mentioned it when I was out there one time too. I, 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 you know, it's one of those things like, hey, you know, they gotta sign you. You know, what was he just joking around? You know, I think he was joking. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> um, I took it serious. But uh, but anyways, um, I think he mentioned something. You know, when we were. Meanwhile, I wasn't really paying attention. We had Stevie Wonder and Prince performing. I couldn't get it much better than me. You know, for for me, I mean, so uh, that's kind of where my focus was at the time. But anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, but everybody was supportive and through it all, and everybody has been, and it's, it's been, a, you know, an awesome, awesome ride so far. What's it like for you to all of a sudden have thirty-one million dollars show up in your account? I don't know yet. I'll, I'll have to see in ten days, I guess. I don't know, but I think it's uh, one of those things that um, you work for it your whole life, honestly. You know, um, you know, when I signed for, I don't know what it was, two million, three million dollars as a as a rookie, I was I was fired up, you know. Um, you know, so, you know, ultimately, like I said, it's not about the money or anything. It's about playing the game and, and hopefully you get rewarded for how you play. You know, that's just, that's how, that's the great part about sports. You know, it's a high risk, high reward. You put your, you put your life on the line every day. People don't realize how hard it is to play the game, you know? And so to be out there, it's, it's, it's a fun thing. You going to splurge on anything? Am I going to splurge on anything? You know, I, uh, there's one thing I'll probably buy in this city and that's a house. You know, so I don't know who knows when, but Mark hasn't allow, let me allow to, to buy a house yet. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll probably do that at some point here. Are you still your dog, spoiling your dogs tonight at all? Am I gonna spoil my dogs? I have training camp, so I can't do that tonight. But maybe down the road. Can you still do, do your baseball bit with the Raiders, or is that something that's off the table? Uh, I, I honestly don't even know. I, I haven't really looked. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you guys. Yep. Go Hawks.